Hello, everyone. Welcome to our workshop. My name is Mike, and I'm a senior communications manager at OnlyOffice. Today, you will learn everything about creating bibliographies and references for your research paper and homework assignments. Importantly, you will see how to do that in practice using the Mendeley and Zotero plugins in OnlyOffice, an open source office suite for documents, spreadsheets, presentations, fillable forms, ebooks, and PDF files. Let's get started. If you have to write a research paper or a homework assignment, you might need to include a bibliography or a list of references in your lighting. Of course, you can do it manually, uh, but it will take plenty of time. The easiest way of creating a bibliography is to use special applications or plugins that can perform this task automatically within seconds. But what is a bibliography and why is it important? Let's answer these questions first. A bibliography is not just all work cited in your research paper. By this term, we usually understand a list of sources, for example, books, articles, websites, etc., that uh, were used in the research process. It means that you have to include all the works that you read when researching a topic, whether or not they are cited or directly referred to in your writing. Let's take a look at a real example. This bibliography looks good, doesn't it? If you want to know uh, how you can create something like this and impress your teacher, don't lose your focus and keep watching this webinar. There are several reasons why you need to use bibliographies. The first main reason is to inform your readers about how widely you immersed yourself in the topic of your research. Showing all the sources uh, that you've read or referred to provides more credibility to your work and increases the scientific value. Secondly, creating a bibliography allows your readers to know if you considered a work uh, but decided not to include it in your writing or if uh, you didn't consult a particular author at all. For example, if your readers pass their eyes through your research paper and don't see you cite any of the most famous experts and scientists, they might be surprised. Thirdly, it helps your readers keep track of all research works that you consulted. Having a bibliography, uh, it will be much easier for them to find the required source of information. In other words, adding a bibliography allows your readers to build a small database of useful sources that they can use for their own research. In general, a bibliography consists of several key elements, such as the author's names, the titles of the works, the names and locations of the publishers, the dates of when the, work was, the works were published, uh, the access dates for online sources. These elements and the order they appear in your bibliography may vary uh, depending on the citation style you need to use. However, let's get back to our bibliography. As you can see, it includes all key elements. For example, the author's names, the titles of the works, the names and locations of the publishers, and the publication dates. Everything is shown here. All looks good. What's more, when editing a bibliography, you must be careful with the citation style you use. A citation style is set of rules on how to cite sources correctly. The most common citation styles include MLA, APA, Chicago, Howard, etc. The citation style you choose for your writing should be determined by the discipline in which you're writing. Let's take a look at the most popular styles. MLA is used for writing in the humanities like English and history. Because of this, it includes guidelines for citing sources like plays, videos, and works of visual art. In MLA formats, books are cited like this. Last name, first name, title, city of publication, publisher, and publication dates. Example, uh, Wingate, Lisa, Before We Were Yours, Random House, 2017. Another format, APA, is used in psychology, business, and social sciences. This format also includes citation instructions for technical papers and data-heavy research. In APA formats, books are cited like this. Last name, first initial, year of publication, title of work, and publisher name. For example, Sapolsky, initials, 2017, Behave, the biology, biology of humans at our best and worst, Penguin Books. The Chicago Manual of Style allows authors uh, to form a bibliographies in two different ways, the notes and bibliography system and the author date system. The former is generally used in humanities, whereas the latter is usually used in the sciences and social sciences. In this format, books are cited like this. Last name, first name, title, place of publication, publisher, year of publication. For example, Smith Zaidi, 
Swing Time, New York, Penguin Press, 2016. Although each style has its own format in rules for bibliographies, the bibliography, uh, all bibliographies have a similar structure. Even bibliography has a title. The most common ones are works cited, references, or bibliography. Bibliographies are all alphabetical lists. Bibliographies are also double-spaced, and they should be in legible fonts. Let's take a look at our bibliography again. Evidently, it has a title. All cited works are uh, sorted alphabetically and are double-spaced. The font we use is Times New Roman, which is one of the most uh, recommended fonts for bibliographies. Uh, now that you know what makes bibliography good, let's go through our checklist. You should give a confirmation answer to each question. Have you considered several sources of written information on your subject? Have you provided detailed information to identify all of your sources? The author's name, the title, the date, and where it was published. Have you used the same format for each of your sources? Is your bibliography sorted alphabetically by author's last name? Is your bibliography double-spaced and in legible fonts? If all your answers are yes, your bibliography must look like ours. If not, there is nothing to worry about. Now I'm going to show you how to create bibliography automatically using the Mendeley and Zotero plugins in OnlyOffice Suite. To create a bibliography automatically with a few clicks, you can use the following services for the reference and bibliography management, Mendeley and Zotero. Both services are available as plugins uh, that are very easy to use. Uh, let's create a bibliography uh, with each service and see how they work and what different uh, what differences they have. Let's get started with Mendeley. So Mendeley is a free reference management service that allows you to search and manage publication preferences uh, and create bibliographies. You need to create a free account to be able to use a service. Uh, you can do it uh, on the official Mendeley website, uh, mendeley.com. When you create your own account, please uh, find all the sources for bibliography in the Mendeley library and add them to your own library. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the service. When you are done with adding all the required books and articles, you can create your bibliography in OnlyOffice. First of all, let's click on the Mendeley button in the plugins tab. Now you can see, uh, now you can use the search field to find the required references for your bibliography by author, title, or year. Among search results, you will need to choose the ones that you want to add to your document. Imagine doing research uh, on the history of English language. Enter the phrase English language in the search field and press enter. You will see all related sources from your Mendeley library. Tick the ones that you need, uh, choose the required style and click insert bibliography. The selected sources will be inserted in your document. Now you need to sort, uh, sort the sources alphabetically and check if your bibliography corresponds to the requirements. This way you can quickly create a bibliography for any research paper or homework assignment. Now let's talk about Zotero and how it works in OnlyOffice. Zotero is a free open source reference management application that allows you to manage bibliographic data and related research materials. You can create a free account to be able to use the service. You can do this on the official Zotero website, zotero.org. When you create your own account and activate it, please find all the sources for your bibliography in the Zotero library and add them to your library. Otherwise, you won't be able to use the service. When you're done with adding the required books and articles, you can create your bibliography in OnlyOffice. When all the required sources are in your personal library, you can create a bibliography. Open the Zotero plugin and use the search field to find the required references for your bibliography by the author, title, or year. Let's create a bibliography on the same topic, the history of the English language. Enter a keyword in the search field and press enter. You will see all related sources from your Zotero library. Please remember that you can work with sources that you have added to your personal library. Tick the ones that you need, choose the required style, and click Insert Bibliography. The selected sources will be inserted in your document. Now you need to sort the sources alphabetically and check if your bibliography corresponds to the requirements. Everything should look good and correct. 
Now, congratulations, you have just created another weblogger for your only office using the Zotero plugin. It's almost impossible to decide which plugin is better and more convenient to use in only office. They all designed the same for the same purpose, uh, editing and managing bibliographies. That's why the plugins have a lot in common. They offer similar functionality and their interfaces look quite similar. You can use the services at no charge, but don't expect all the features to be available to, uh, for you if you are not ready to buy. So um, now that you know how to create bibliographies with Mendeley and Zotero in only office, you just need to choose the right OnlyOffice solution. If you want to work in your web browser, you can start with a free account of OnlyOffice DocSpace. In OnlyOffice DocSpace, a room-based collaborative platform that comes with online suite for documents, spreadsheets, presentations, available forms, and PDF files. Um, in DocSpace, you can create uh, separate rooms for each assignment, uh, invite users for real-time collaboration, and assign various access rights. You can also create custom rooms where you can interact with your teachers, inviting them as reviewers or form fillers to allow them to check uh, your written assignments. Only Office DocSpace is available in the cloud or as a self-hosted solution that you can deploy on your Linux server. This version has uh, the same features, but allows you to control your data within your network. This is a good choice for those who care about data privacy. There is an open source version that comes with full editing functionality and an enterprise edition with technical support and regular updates included. <clears throat> to create a free DocSpace account in a cloud, you just need to fill out a special form on the official website. You will have to enter your first and last name, email address, phone number, account name, and a password. Confirm that you are not a robot and click the Start button. Your DocSpace account will be created within seconds. The free version of OnlyOffice DocSpace Cloud is more than enough for research work, allowing you to create up to 12 rooms with unlimited number of users and providing two uh, gigabytes of uh, space for your files. Another solution that you can use to create bibliographies is OnlyOffice Docs. It's a web-based office suite that can be integrated with a large number of file storage platforms, e-learning solutions, and document management systems like Nextcloud, Cfile, Moodle, uh, Shamilo, um, Redmine, OnCloud, uh, Plone, Nuxio, WordPress, etc. It can be used as a standalone solution, though. The ideal scenario for only Office Docs is integration with a third-party platform, which allows you to create a secure collaborative space on your server. You can even integrate it with your own solution via API or uh, WAPI protocol. Only Office Docs is available as a free community edition and commercial enterprise edition. Finally, you can create bibliographies in our free desktop app called Only Office Desktop Editors. It's a cross-platform client for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS that offers all the strengths and benefits of the Only Office suite and allows you to work on Office files offline. The app is free and easily runs on all popular operating systems. Keep in mind that Mendeley um, is not compatible with the desktop app, but Zotero works well. As you can see, OnlyOffice offers two excellent bibliography management tools, Mendeley and Zotero. They all have their advantages and disadvantages, and it's up to you to decide which plugin to use uh, to create bibliography in, uh, in your own writing. Whatever you choose, you can be sure the bibliography management in OnlyOffice is really simple to master.